Hello YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. Uh, today's a little bit of a tutorial with uh, Pinnacle Studio 12 Ultimate Edition. This is for people who do not know how to do anything with you know transitional effects and images and all that. This is just going to be something very raw, it's going to be unedited, it's going to be kind of unprofessional for an editing tool. And yes I'm topless so I don't care. But, this is just a request, because someone wanted to know, and I might as well do a video for it. So, alright, first things first. You're going to deal with a few simplistic measures. Okay, so, step one. You need photos that are transistent. In this case, these aren't, but it doesn't matter. These will still do their job for what the lesson is going to be. So, I got a photo of Poison from Streets of Rage, you know, that transsexual, transgender dude that's, uh, eh, never mind. Okay, so, step one, make sure you have your presented photos. Now, you're going to need to go into properties, because obviously these photos can't be as big as what they look like right now. Go into, up here, you'll see click on that. Now that will make the photo small enough to move around with. You'll see squares due to the fact that this is an HD cropped photo or a portioned photo so don't worry about it. <clears throat> okay now you'll just have him just move him wherever. This is just for the exercise. Okay next you can leave this on and click on her just drag it and see that will automatically make it so it's less work to move it around now when practicing with Pinnacle Studio 12 I would recommend do not show any work that you know doesn't look as good as you think it would be or don't settle for this is fine you gotta really I mean really if you wanna show off your art really show some fucking some grease monkey action but alright now you also see that these two photos are side by side okay again I apologize for the camera I'm using my web camera and this is the best way to show it off because <clears throat> every single time I try to use uh, desktop mode it crashes on me so I'm just not gonna have to reboot my freaking computer every five freaking minutes okay so now we're in a transitions mode if you have packs up the yin yang for this and you bought them all or whatever then you're all set alright so you guys remember that awesome intro I did of course you do because it was just that awesome but alright so you're gonna notice you're gonna have a slide up right or slide up left down here third uh, three columns down to the left hand side grab those and just drag them down then grab this one drag it down you'll notice the other photos aren't there no more don't go in panic mode that's fine that's what you want <coughs> so now we're gonna look at this and see how it looks What used what was used for video transitions worked for that really well. So with that one more time. Good. You see how it works now? Alright. Also, what you probably wouldn't suspect. Okay, now we're gonna go into photos and we're gonna grab this Pikachu eating a kid's head off. You could put this in the text column as well. But you didn't know that. That's like a third column you can put junk on. All right, put that right there. Now I'm going to go into transitions one more time. But see, this is in the center. It would be more proper to make it go up rather than where it came from the rest of those, because it would just look like an idiot did that. All right. So again, that's going to disappear. Now let's look at our result. See doesn't look perfect but you get the rough idea 
Let's we'll see that one more time. Looks pretty nice so far, I know. Okay, so we don't need that though, so we're just going to get rid of it. Just showing you an example that what it can be done, because we need that um, comment area anyway, or the text. Alright, so for your text, you can have a nice assortment. Or if you unlocked a couple packs for additional packages for text, which you really don't need. The standard text right here does it does it justice. Because, you know, I'm a cheapskate like that. Alright, so, gonna go over here, drag it over here in the bottom, make sure it matches up with the images. So much win! Alright, don't worry about that being in the background, you're probably thinking, oh, is that gonna be the full freaking screen now? No, it's not, it's fine. Alright, so, let's type a random sentence. Okay. This is gonna be this is gonna say Alec John loves the tacos. Loves the tacos. Duh. Okay, so we're going to now you're probably gonna want some music, some tunes to listen to while you're jamming out to your awesome intro. So before you do that, though, you're gonna have to do this. Now you gotta pick a awesome intro uh, transition for the f uh, the text to come in on. Okay, you can put this before that. We'll see how it looks real quick. I'm not going to save this, obviously. A little cleavage. Okay, look. Peels right on like diapers. I'm right. Looks good. So now we're going to need some music for this to jam to. Y'all recognize this? It can have absolutely no subquential value. Okay, now you're going to need to drag that music down here to the musical note and sync it up with the images in the transitional area bars so that's gonna link up and it's gonna sound like complete nonsense and randomness and there you go that's really the basics of making an intro a lot of people are wondering how you did it, and or how I did it, and uh, that, that, that's just how you do it. You gotta work for it, obviously, and find the right intros for yourself, and because obviously you don't want something that damn plain, because it really won't work that well. But people were very interested in what I did with the All Games Awesome intro. Don't save that. There we go. How I did it this way because it was just that awesome. It was just the most amazing thing they saw since sliced bread. That intro. Now you're asking me, how did I get the controllers and all that to slide up? Well, you're going to have to do some editing yourself. I can't be holding your hand the entire time with this. This is something that's going to be requiring some PNG work to get that to be, tr some of the photos to be transistent. Now, if you have a photo that has, like, you know, uh, gray and white like, squares around it, and, and inside of a Photoshop website thing or whatever, and you see those in the background, that means it's going to be transistent and it's going to work. But if you have, like, white in the background, you're going to have to go into a Photoshop and carefully remove all that piece by piece to get that to work, like I did with those right there. So, Hope you got luck better than I do finding those kind of photos and cropping them down. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the intro, and I'll try to do more. <coughs> help you guys out with any other type of stuff I can, tutorial wise. Tutorial, whatever. But as for me, I'm going to need some Funyuns and play my Adventure Island game because it's driving me crazy. Well, take it easy, guys.